Optimism reigns among small to mid-sized businesses across Pennsylvania, although their enthusiasm is a bit more tempered than it was when PNC Bank last took their pulse in the spring of this year. PNC has released its fall 2017 Economic Outlook Survey, and Scott Cunningham is here with a report. He's Executive Vice President and Managing Director of PNC Wealth Management, serving southwestern Pennsylvania. Curtis Kosman runs Kosman Development in Pittsburgh, and welcome. Good to see both of you. Good to have you here. Thanks for Thank having you, Bill. Us. So, all right, we got these twice, uh, twice annual at least uh, updates on on what's going on in terms of, of uh, business optimism. How 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 about it? Are they optimistic? How optimistic are they? And that is the good news, both nationally and in Pennsylvania. Small and mid-sized business owners, they're optimistic. Hmm. Now, first, let's talk about when we say small and mid. What do we mean? We're talking small. We mean small. Okay. That's nine employees in a company. That's a small business. And so we're talking to the owners, they know their customers, they know their markets, because they're ground level, they're touching it. So what are we finding out? Well, nationally, we asked them, 54% of small and mid-sized business owners, they're expecting higher sales, they're expecting to hire more employees. Pretty impressive. If we take it down to Pennsylvania, what do we see? Same thing, not quite as optimistic, but still they're saying 49% are expecting an increase in sales, another 16% are expecting an increase in hiring. Now. We interpret that as being optimistic. When we talk about how they're doing that, well, why? Business growth is good, investment is good, the economy is good. All three factors play into that. So when it comes to the nation, when it comes to Pennsylvania, very optimistic. That's really good. Curtis, how about it from your, your perspective? You're running a, a, a somewhat bigger than a small business the way Scott just described it, but how does it feel to you right now, especially here in our region? Um, it, we see uh, a diversified uh, uh, continued investment in the region, whether it be um, research derived through um, higher education, um, uh, healthcare industry, that's led to a variety of startups in the region that has, you know, driven our ability to serve them with our office portfolio within the region. Um, that diversified uh, um, business has, you know, developed the base um, strength to this community, um, you know, which, uh, you know, has translated into um, us being what I called the best kept secret <laughs> in the United States mm -hmm. to one which uh, national real estate investment trusts are considering uh, investing here. Well, they're all over the place now. I mean, your family's been part of it since the days of Renaissance One, and, and uh, the, really the dynamics of the market here have changed pretty dramatically over that time. I see in the, in the old Kosman building downtown, you've renamed it, you're putting new floors on it, so you clearly have some confidence in and what's happening And we're continuing here. to reinvest in, in our existing properties and actively redeveloping um, uh, it, within the region. So as an example, Town Place, the former Kosman building, um, is by first quarter of next year to open with 62 executive apartments mm -hmm. serving the corporate market. Really reflecting the growth we've seen in the corporate sector here, which is amazing. So Scott, uh, uh, anything tempering all of this? What are businesses, wor why aren't they quite as optimistic as they were? Maybe no, in the interesting, spring, yeah. what's, what's one of our limiting factors? And it's talent. It's being able to oh, hire. Talent, okay. Now, if we take a look, for example, in manufacturing and construction, here's what they're telling us. It's hard to hire talent. Hmm. Why? The applicants don't have the skill set or the experience. Secondly, they used to have the applicant pool. And then for the first time this year, we asked a question, what about passing tests for controlled substances? And 5% of the respondents said that's an issue for them as well. So when we take a look at Pittsburgh, Curtis, we said we are the oldest population but we're soon to be what? Uh, one of the youngest populations in the country. Over the next 15 years Over or so, the next right? 15 but, yeah, years. but the city of Pittsburgh is now also, the, the age in the, in the city, the median age is now below the national average. So we've already seen a big change in the city. The region's got a ways to go. But are you feeling the squeeze at all when it comes to talent and workforce and filling your pipeline it, to build the stuff you're building? It, it is uh, more and more difficult to find um, good talent. Um, and uh, we work hard to, to make our company um, a fun work environment that mm -hmm. uh, that people will enjoy um, um, working in as a result. So I think it's incumbent upon um, us to consider um, business as being, um, for us, um, an extension of our family. Mm -hmm. 
um, and um, that creates the environment that people want to work in because indeed mm -hmm. we spend most of our time in 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 the environment of a, a of the office versus at home. Well, you really do. Yeah, but, so. but something that also implies is that with the shortage of talent, th that means two things. One, we're going to see certain segments of the economy, the demand for talent is going to drive up wages. And so that was part of our survey. 34% of our small and mid-sized business owners said they're probably going to have to pay more to get the talent they need. Hmm. What was also interesting was another large segment said that they are competitive where they are with their, their wages, that there's no need to pay more to do that. But I think what we will see is for us in Pittsburgh, in manufacturing and construction, we have to pay more wages. That's a challenge. Got to work a little harder too to train people, bring them along, get them plugged in, and make them see that there's opportunity. And and certainly that's a um, part of the, you know educating our our young workforce. And we're very fortunate that we have world renowned um, higher education here. And it used to be that the that those graduates would be forced to, to leave the region to, to find the job that they were expecting. Now with the diversified employment base that we have, we're seeing those jobs reside here. So um, that young talent can stay here and, and raise their families. Here. Another reason for optimism. Curtis Kosman from Kosman Development. Scott Cunningham from PNC. Thanks so much for the update. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thank Bill. You. See you both. Yeah. When we return, the YMCA launches a new mentorship program that matches successful adult mentors with promising young people. Find out how you can take part when our region's business returns.